Journey has a little bitty feller from another country singing for them, and he's yummy. He looks like a little M&M. You could put him in your pocket. And you could tell he doesn't eat white flour and sugar. And he's singing and doing, he sounds like Steve Perry, but it's not the same. You know, Steve Perry's my boo. So he was, it did not, it was like we were going to a tribute concert. But anyway, everybody in the van, besides this little fella, everybody had eaten white flour and sugar, and probably, probably had done dope and drank terrible things. And everybody looked sick. And the, the bass player looked like somebody I had bought my jewelry from for years. And they were just barely a going. And then Def Leppard came out. And it was a, that lead singer, I think, has got thyroid issues. His hair was just thin and didn't have a lux to it. And, and then I noticed he had a little bitty tiny legs and a little pot belly stomach. But he sang, put some sugar on it, which I hate that mess. I am a earth, wind, and fire R&B gal, but, and I love my journey, but I was like, mm, this isn't my thing. And uh, my husband, every once in a while, would go, and then just sit down, because he loves it. But anyway, this little man with the tiny little legs and the thinning hair, and then he had this little bump right here, and I could tell that's a hernia. He's got a hernia. <laughs> that he hadn't had time to get it fixed. He hadn't had time to put a mesh in. And you could just see it. It looks like my stomach because I've had a hernia, but I've had mine fixed. And I thought, oh, bless his heart. But he'd do and he'd prop a little thin, frail leg up on something. Oh. I thought, isn't it funny how things have changed since I went to concerts when I was 20? Everybody was walking out like this because everybody had inflammation in their feet. <laughs> Trying to get to their car. And it was like 10 o'clock. I thought, what are we doing out here? What are we doing? 